Hi, in this video, we will be continuing the topic how to generate reports as well as how to store the reports. So guys, so guys, good thing about QC ALM is that it is monitoring and tracking everything you do. So let's say today I have written the test cases. So test cases is written under test plan. So I can generate complete reporting of test plan of the activities I have performed. So I can click on test plan, go to analysis, click on reports and go to standard test planning reports. Whenever you will click on it, you will see the report is generated. So guys, we do have two save options over here. One is this and second is this. You might be wondering why two options are there. Guys, this save will be storing your reports on the operating system and this save will be storing your reports on QC ALM. So here, if I click on this, your OS files will open and you can store your report over there. But if you will click on this save over here, it will open your new standard report. This is the name of the report and two folders will be highlighted. One is private and second is public. Meaning of private means that if you are saving your report under private folder, then it will be visible to you only. Only you can access or view it. But if you will save this report under public, then all the users of QC ALM can view it. These two folders are there to understand the visibility access. Private, only you can access it. Public, all the users of QCLM can access it. So let's say I want to keep it private. I will choose private and click on save. So see where we are landed. We have landed under dashboard module. Yes, guys. So dashboard module is a module where your reports are being stored. So all the reports which we have generated will be stored under dashboard. Dashboard has two columns, public and private. If you want to keep it private, then it will be stored under private. Otherwise, you will see your reports under public. Private is just for you. Public is for all the users. So guys, reporting is something which is very much regular process for us as a tester. But if you don't have quality center ALM, it's going to be difficult because you have to manually prepare the report. Whereas QC ALM is monitoring tracking all your activities and at the end you have to just click on the analysis tab which is there on all the modules so if you go to test lab you will see analysis if you go to defects analysis requirement analysis so this analysis tab is given with all the modules of quality center and you can generate report respectively from there so guys this was report generation now we will moving to the most important topic that is how to export excel sheet data into quality center so guys as you know that we have written lots of test cases in excel sheet we do have very few quality center softwares in the company most of the testers are working on the excel sheets or maybe few of the testers are working on quality center but still because we have to achieve the common platform we can export all the excel sheet data either test cases requirements as well as defect sheets into quality center let's understand how we can do it so guys test cases are written under test plan module as we know about it now i want to import all the excel sheet data into quality center all the test cases which i have written in excel sheet into quality center so let's understand the format of our excel sheet so what i'm going to do is i'll prepare this excel sheet according to the columns of quality center so here my first column is date and if i have to map it with quality center creation date of quality center is same as date column of your excel sheet so here i will be changing the name of date to creation date although guys this is not requirement of quality center that you should change column name of excel sheet but i'm just doing for you convenience so that you can understand which column is mapping with which column of quality center Although quality center will be just reading the column names here, A, B, C, not the name of the columns. So whatever name you are keeping over there doesn't matter. So here column number B is author name. If you go to your quality center, author name is actually designer over here. But this field designer is auto populated. So we need not to pass it from the Excel sheet because it is auto populated with the ID with which you have logged in in your quality center so that name will appear over here right now my username is Roshan so it is automatically appearing here I need not to have this column over here so I need not to pass any values externally because it is 
auto populated so i'm going to delete this column next is my module name so guys if you cross check over here module names are always written under subject folder so if you want to write on all the modules under subject you create this folder and write on the module name as we discussed in our previous videos so module name will always appear under subject folder so here instead of module name i'm just going to change it to subject so next column is my test case id if you go to quality center i'll click on any test case over here this is my test case id guys login underscore tc1 underscore cancel button and it is under the name test name so test case id of your excel sheet is mapping with the test name of your quality center so i will be going there and changing it to test name next is preconditions guys if you look into quality center i have written precondition beneath description so there is no separate column for precondition here but preconditions are important so i cannot just miss precondition i have to write the preconditions but here i am writing it under description but if you look at my excel sheet precondition is a separate column and description is separate column what i'm going to do is i'm going to combine these two columns in one so i'm going to copy precondition under description so that it should appear the same ways like i did it in my quality center so i will be copying it go to description here we will get space write down precondition and we will paste the precondition over here so here you can see description and precondition are together this is my description and this is precondition you will be writing it in all the columns because precondition and description are merged together so here also we can do the same thing and for my third test case also i'm doing the same thing so all my three test cases have description and precondition together i can remove this precondition column next is step number so let's see where the step numbers are written in my quality center so we'll go there click on design steps and if you see step number is written under the column step name so we will name it as step name instead of step number next is steps description so in my excel sheet step description is written under steps we will go ahead and check it over quality center so it is written under description but guys we will be having two columns as description look at this this is also description if i'll write name of the column as description then there will be a redundancy it will be a same column so what we will be doing we will be writing name of the module here so if you see name of the module which is design steps and then description just for our understanding again i'm repeating guys this is not a condition from quality center alm that your name of column should be exactly same as quality center but this we are doing just for our understanding so here i will be writing design steps description last is expected result so expected result in excel sheet is same as expected result in quality center so this is same you need not to change anything now let's see how to export your test cases in quality center you will be going to add-ins if you see here we have option export to quality center now we will be selecting all rows which we want to export in quality center so we will be selecting it from here selection should be started from the rows you should not select the column headings so start selecting from this first cell and select the data which you want to export i don't want to export actual results status or comments so i'm not selecting it i will be selecting only the data which i want to export after that you will be clicking on export to quality center check url of your quality center click on next here you will enter your credentials click on next check your domain and project name click on next these are the three things which you can export one requirements so complete srs document can be exported test cases and defect sheet so right now we are exporting test cases so i'm choosing test click on next now guys this is two option select a map type a new map name when you are first time using it you can go ahead and click on type a map name 
I will be letting you know in the next step what is the meaning of map name. So I'll choose this, give any map name, give any name to this. So let's say login 1.0. We'll click on next. So now look at this guys. You will get all the columns of quality center over here from test plan. And here the mapping status will be stored. So quality center and Excel sheet. So first column in my Excel sheet is creation date. And I will be choosing it from here. So this is QC ALMs column. We will select it and we will be sending it to this side. This is very important guys. Map the quality center field creation date to Microsoft Excel column. So that means write down the column name of Excel sheet with which you want to map this creation date of your quality center. So here the column name is A. That's why I was telling you changing name of the column doesn't matter because quality center is not reading heading of the column whereas it is reading name here A, B, C. So here you will be passing column number that is A and click on OK. Now guys these settings which I am going to do here I will be mapping quality center columns with the Excel sheet columns. This will be stored under the map name which I have just given in my previous step. So map name login 1.0 these settings will be stored under that map name. Next time when you want to open this and export anything you need not to do these settings because it is already saved under that map name and next time you will be just selecting it. If I will show you here next time you have to just select that map name and you will see the settings automatically. So here creation date is mapped with A. Next is subject. So if you select here subject will be mapped with column B. Next is test name. So we will be selecting test name. Test name is mapped with C. Next is description. So description column of QC will be mapped with D column of Excel sheet. Step name. So step name of quality center will be mapped with E column of your Excel sheet. Next is design step description. So description with this design steps it will be mapped with F column of your Excel sheet. Expected result is mapped with G column of your Excel sheet. And now we will be clicking on export. Look at this guys. You have successfully exported the Microsoft Excel worksheet to quality center. Let's check that. So we'll go to our quality center. There is nothing over here. You will not see anything over here. So go ahead and refresh it. And look at this. We got login module here. If you expand this login module, all three test cases are exported. If you click on any of the test case, see these are the steps. If you go to details, everything is auto populated. Creation date, name of the test case, description, precondition, everything is exported accordingly. But you can style it accordingly. So guys, this is how you can export your Excel sheet data into Quality Center. So if you have done anything in Excel Sheets and you just switch to Quality Center, you can easily accommodate all the changes, all the Excel Sheet data into Quality Center. That's all about this video. Thanks for now.